Oh, she's a princess because she behaves like a princess and she eats like a princess. Oh yes, and she gets whatever she wants, like a princess. We got Priscilla two and a half years ago as a four day old orphan. Her mother was really old and had no milk to provide for her poor baby, so uh, we've raised her by hand from four days old. I'm dad to Priscilla. As she grew from a four ounce little tiny baby to the spectacular two and a half year old girl she is now. She's just a pampered princess, so we thought Priscilla was a fitting name. To be honest, I wasn't too sure about getting a porcupine, and it turns out to be one of the better things we ever had. She's a, a real blend between a cat and a dog. She'll sometimes play with sticks, fetches sticks, runs around the yard with a stick just like a dog. Other days, like now, aloof, running off, <laughs> paying attention to somebody else. She just stayed in the house. She was free range in the house as a baby. She was a terrible, terrible house pet. They're not a, a house pet in any way, shape, or form. The, we call it the whiz thistle. When she was a baby, the urine comes out about 75 miles an hour all over the house. So that leads to a lot of cleaning. In the middle of the night, she would get out of her bed and spend her night destroying the house. Open cupboards, drag out the pots and pans. Um, one night, she found every shoe in the entire house and hid them all behind the couch. Hey, were you clever? Sometimes she wants a nice big blanket. She'll make her blanket into a big nest and then tends to sleep, splayed out like Superman. The amazing number of people who believe porcupines can shoot their quills. Um, they cannot shoot their quills. <laughs> See, she's not stabbing me, she's not shooting quills. Oh my goodness, loves her dad. Huh? Most people have never seen a porcupine in person, so they're very interested in her. They think she's dangerous or that they're not gonna be allowed to come in with her. So they're quite surprised when they can pet her and feed her. Silla is definitely one of the biggest celebrities at the farm. She always has a huge crowd around her. Everyone's always super excited and happy to see her. Kids love that they can interact with her. She's always super friendly with everyone that she meets. Loves everybody. She's very, very cuddly, even though she doesn't look cuddly. Sounds scary. Hey, but she's not. Come on. We love all the animals, especially those who we've raised from infancy like my little princess, and she truly is a princess. Of course she comes over as soon as we're done the interview. Don't leave your valuables near her, like your tripod or your camera, because she will chew those. You can't chew on that. You can't chew on that.